Hi, Kit Words with you, Flower Duet. And today we're gonna make a ghost, which is perfect for Halloween or any scary party you might have. We are using real flowers, in this case, purple carnations. And for the eyes, we're using some beautiful little spray chrysanthemums. The first thing we need to do is to prepare our container. And we're not really having a container today because we're gonna use floral foam and it has to be flat on the bottom. So actually what I have here is a floral container that I've turned over so that I have a nice flat surface. And so the thing you wanna be aware of is it, water is gonna probably drip down so you might wanna have maybe a towel underneath. I'm gonna use what we call Barbie chairs, which are little floral spikes that you can place on a container in order to keep your foam intact. So I'm using some florist clay to attach these to my container. So I'm gonna take a little bit of clay, about an inch, roll it in a ball, place it on the bottom of the Barbie chair, like so. And then I'm gonna put it straight down and you kind of push it down and twist to secure it. So you need another piece. Maybe it's about an inch and a half. Roll it in a ball. Press it down with your fingers until it's pretty, pretty flat. And I'm gonna put, push that one down and swivel it to the side to side to make it so that it's attached. So now I have my Barbie chairs attached to my container. Put my floral clay aside. And we have one brick of floral foam that's been soaked just like this. Put my brick down right over my chairs, right down in the middle. Hopefully that will stay pretty secure. <laughs> it's a little tall for what I think I'm going to do, but We'll see. So then once I have my floral foam in here, then I can start to design. The first thing we want to do is we want to shape our floral foam. Our ghost is not going to be a square ghost. It's going to be more of a round ghost. So I'm going to come down on my floral foam. I'm going to take my edges off. You can see like so. And you can use any kind of knife. This is I think this was a steak knife <laughs> in, one, in its former lifetime. You could use uh, plastic picnic knives if this, this would be a good project with kids. You can see some of my water is already starting to come out of my foam just from cutting it. I'm definitely going to need to get a paper towel. So I've rounded the edges off. I can make it a little more round. Make sure you discard that foam. It can't be in the compost. Make sure you follow the rules for how to work with floral foam. So now I have kind of a column and now I want to give it a rounded head. Uh, but I think this knife is, it's okay, but I think I need to use a better knife. So I'll be right back. And I'm going to get a paper towel for some of this water coming out. Got a paper towel, changed my knife. So now we want to give our ghosts more of a rounded head. So whenever you carve, you wanna go like from top to bottom. You never wanna to carve towards your hand if you're gonna hold your hand. So I'll show you, I'm just gonna take the, the corners off, going away from, cutting away from myself. And you wanna cut down. And it's gonna be a little bit angular to start. So you just want to keep going and taking all those angles off to get more of a dome-y look. Definitely leaning to one direction. Probably need to put this more on a, on a solid ground, but I kind of like the idea of this platform. You guys can decide. But if you do put it on a plate, you want to make sure that the plate doesn't have a lot of a lip. I 
the more you shape it when it's in the foam, like just the foam, the easier it's going to be to get the same shape with, that you want, that sort of rounded head for your ghost. If you don't take the time to really shape the foam, and you end up with, you're going to end up with a square looking ghost. So take the time to really shape this out. <laughs> okay. Some pieces down here at the bottom. So now we have our foam is ready to go. put our pieces uh, to side. Most of the time we think the ghosts are white, but I think it'd be fun to make a, a dark purple ghost. Let's, we're gonna have a colorful ghost. So we're gonna take these standard carnations and we're gonna really try to fluff them out. And so when, if they're really closed, that means that just means they're fresh. So you gotta fluff them out by pushing them out from the outside first to begin and then gently <laughs> fluffing them open. If you're a little too aggressive like I was on that one, you end up pulling a petal out and you don't want to do that because if you pull petals out, then it's not as, um, it won't hold all the other petals in place. So you want to be careful not to be too rough with them. So start from the outside and we just want to get more surface area. It's all about real estate. So the fewer flower, you know, the bigger the flowers, the fewer you'll need. Um, flowers that are great for this will be carnations or chrysanthemums, especially spray, uh, spray chrysanthemums or cushion mums, which, you know, there's a bunch of little mums on the end of each stem. If you're not sure what that is, I'll put a picture of it in the tip sheet so you know. So you can use white carnations too. We just, we happen to have these purple ones and we thought sometimes ghosts are kind of dressed in dark, like a dark kind of gray. Um, color and if it's at night they might look a little purple. So the key is going to be the shape and then putting the eyes in and I have a fun idea for the eyes. So I'll just keep fluffing these and then come back for the next step. So now we're ready to start putting our carnations in. We're going to get some more uh, moisture coming out. I had cut these already kind of short so that it was easy to process them. But you really only need about uh, maybe an inch in, and we're just gonna start right here at the top, and I'm gonna push them down as far as they can go. So I'm cutting them so that there's enough of a stem on them to keep them in place. But we don't want the stem to be too long because as we add them into our ghost, the foam, if we had the stems really long, they would start to run into each other. So we gotta keep them just long enough. So it is a little bit tricky to figure that out because you don't want them too short or they won't stay. Carnations also have these joints on the stem, so it's kinda hard sometimes to cut in between the joints. Um, sometimes you have to cut on the joint. It's better if you do cut in between the joints, you get a cleaner, cleaner cut. So I'm going, I'll just go about halfway down and then I'm going to turn it so you can, so I'm going to, so I can see what I'm doing, but you can see what I'm doing too. <laughs> it's cute so far. <laughs> so instead of adding them right next to each other, when I start to add the next one, I'm going to go slightly in between. Here's one where I couldn't cut above the joint. It would have been too short. Now I'm going to have to carefully push that one in. And once I do push it in, see I'm fluffing them out a little bit to, to keep, to uh, try to, I don't want to see any foam. So when I put them in, I'm going to fluff them out a little bit more to cover, cover that foam. Let's see. It's always good to, to see where you're pushing it in. Don't try to put it in blindly. You want to see where you're placing your flowers. So 
So I'm going to turn this around so you can kind of see where I am. Like so. So the key is just staggering them so that they fill up any green space once they're in. Green space meaning so that you don't see any foam. So I'm just going to keep going. And I think I'm going to get about halfway and then I'm going to need to get some more carnations. See, I'm gently holding it as I'm placing him. Gently, hand is flat. Looks kind of like a mushroom right now. I'm going to go get a few more flowers and then I'm going to keep going and then when I get to the bottom I'll stop and then I'll show you how to finish it. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. I said I'd come back when I'm almost done so I have the bottom layer to do. So when you have the bottom layer you want it to flare out like a ghost would. So to do that you need to keep your stems longer. So as we were cutting them before about one inch you want to keep them almost about four to five inches and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and flare out pretty far. And again, I don't want to see any foam, but I also don't want to see any of the carnation head. So I'm coming down and flaring out. So I'm going to keep going around and then I'll come back and show you the result. You can watch. So here's our ghost. I think he looks pretty cute. But we need to give him some character. And so I have these cute little daisy mums, actually, with the, it's the dark brown face with the white petals. And I left the stem kind of long. So I'm going to put two eyes into our ghost here. Let's see if we can. And these are alive, too. So this will be fresh materials going into the foam. So you got to find, got to kind of separate the carnation so you can get get it stick so there's a one-eyed monster. It looks a little bit like uh, Grimace from the old McDonald's. If you remember those those ads. Grimace was one of the characters from Ronald McDonald land. Make believe, of course. So once you get him in there then you know fluff zhuzh your petals around to try to get them to match. And so now we have our little purple ghost with white um, and brown eyes. And that's it. So now that you've finished your ghost, you're probably wondering, how do I keep it fresh? And it is a little bit tricky because it is, you know, in floral foam that's not in a container. And so the, it is going to dry out pretty quickly. 
and drain. So what you're going to want to do is put it somewhere where you don't mind the water sort of flowing out, maybe in a bathtub if you have this sort of, if you can't get this into your sink. And then I would take the top flower off the head and slowly pour water right down through the middle of your the, the foam and then let the foam sort of soak in, then recut that top flower and then replace it. And I would try to do that watering every two to three days to keep it fresh.